Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is going to be the contest update and the announcement for the winners of the previous contest that I held. Now, the contest was started about three or two weeks ago and the goal was kind of twofold. One, obviously I kind of wanted to give away a bunch of my samples that I had lying around that won't get any use. The second thing was I wanted to actually gather a bunch of information and to prove a greater point. And the point was, if you actually look at that thread, or if you look at that video, and the link will be down below to the original contest video, you're going to see a bunch of unique answers. And the main thing that I was actually trying to prove was that no matter what fragrance you wear, you're still going to come across people who do not like the scent. And that is almost universal. Some people have some luck where they never ever get a negative comment, there, but there will be people who don't like the scent. So the question that I asked in order to enter the video was simply, uh, what were some instances of your negative comments? Or have you ever gotten a negative comment with a fragrance? Please share. And a bunch of unique responses and a bunch of funny responses were put down below and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved that there were the type of responses that I saw, uh, the type of scenarios that they were in, and overall I was very impressed. Thank you guys. Loved it. So how did I actually do the drawing and choose a winner? What I did was I simply went down through and labeled each one. I counted up all of the total responses both in my inbox, on the video, and uh, I believe I got like two via email too. And what I simply did was I just counted them upwards and label and gave them a number for it. I really didn't want to have to pull out everyone's name off of it and throw it in. I made sure that there were no triplicate entries, so two were the max that you were allowed to submit for it, and simply gave them numbers next to them. Then I went ahead and randomized numbers from 1 to 322, I believe it was. Yes, from 1 to 322, and picked out the numbers that came through. Now, there was, an, I did do a ninja change to it. One of the ninja changes that I did to it were, I added another per, I added another prize, which is basically another five samples of your choice, and that will go for the two. So there are actually three prizes rather than two. Two people will get to choose five samples from my collection, which will be listed down below, and the Grandmaster Prize will win this entire bag, or one, this entire bag of samples, which is basically samples of reviews that I have done uh, that you can see on my channel list through. So, uh, with that being said, I did pick the three winners. The Grand Master winner was Mike Gruber. His comment was, My only horror story would be the first day of getting a Ventus. I sprayed way too many sprays, seven or eight, Ended up getting going to a friend's house for a party and stunk up the whole place. Not a single person wanted to be within 25 feet of me and went home alone. Uh, sad face, laugh out loud. So he wins the Grandmaster Prize, which is this. This will be actually sent over. So send me your contact information via PM, and I'm going to actually send uh, the winner's uh, messages as well. So prize two goes to Donna Spades. It's D-O-N-A, spades. It's going to be spelled out right there. His or her comment was, I think it's his, went clubbing one night and was feeling really good. Applied four sprays of Frappin 1270, but, it didn't, but I didn't feel it and couldn't really smell it too well. So I applied three more. I was getting picked up by a friend, but he failed to mention that there were three other people in the car with him. I get in, and a few minutes later, my buddy turns around and gives me the nasty stink eye and starts yelling at me for choking everyone out. We opened the windows, and everyone was coughing and complaining the whole time. They didn't say I smelled bad, just that I put on way too much. I learned my lesson. Thanks. Keep up the great bits. Yes. So, he wins prize number two, which is five samples of his choice. Again, send me your information. I'm going to go ahead and send you a PM as well. And third prize goes to Tom G, whose quote or comment was, So I wore Lyric Man by Amouage to a funeral of someone I was close with. My girlfriend told me that my cologne was terribly overpowering and that someone told her I was being disrespectful. Ouch. Obviously not my intent. 
I went really light on the trigger. I realized it's potent cologne, but I didn't think it was too heavy, but lesson learned. Don't get, uh, don't get wear cologne to funerals or job interviews. I learned this vicariously through a friend's story. So yes, prize number three goes to Tom G, who also gets to select five samples out of my collection, basically, to go through. So yes, I have my own two stories, and this is actually what prompted it. It got me to thinking. I think it was maybe four months ago. I was wearing Encre Noir by Lalique. Heavy, very heavy, heavy based vetiver scent. Very dirty as well. So I think it was day five of me testing it. And I went a little bit aggressive on the sprays. I usually go aggressive on the sprays one of the days that I'm testing a fragrance. And this was the day that I went aggressive on the sprays. I was on the subway. I live in New York. I sat down. Um, I was sitting down. A woman comes. I think it was at like 34th Street stop. A woman comes, sits down next to me. And she kind of looks at me uh, sideways. Uh, she gets up, uh, goes de goes over to the end pretty much of the train car, and sits down uh, next to another guy there and was still looking at me. And I got the feeling that she moved away from me because of my scent. Now, I described the story to a couple of other people. They thought, hey, well, maybe she's a racist. She wasn't a racist. She sat down next to another black guy. So that wasn't the cause at all. It was, it was definitely the fragrance which I could smell on myself, and I felt that it was a little bit too powerful, but uh, yeah, I still went with it. So, lesson learned. It was That one was a little leap. The second one was at work, and this was also about maybe three, four months ago, somewhere around that time. I wore Lair du Desert Metal Cane uh, by Andy Tower. Love that scent. And I had it on, had a nice little scent bubble going on, and I was sitting at my desk in the morning, and I actually sit next to my uh, boss, uh, who's a director, and he, I, I, I remember, I was sitting there doing my work, another director comes, comes over right to him, right between our desks, and goes, man, you're right, it really does smell like medicine in here, and my boss is like, yeah, see, I told you it smells like medicine, it's apparently they had been chatting over I am, and uh, my boss thought it smelled like medicine, and I didn't say anything, I kept quiet, I kind of chuckled to myself, but yes, uh, their complaint was that it smells like medicine. So that is what spawned the comment. And that's kind of what gave me the idea for the contest. So thank you everyone for participating in the contest. I'm gonna have more contests upcoming. There's a couple changes coming to my channel as I've highlighted in the previous video. Should be some good times. Spring's almost here, it should be great. Thank you everyone, take care of yourselves and have a great day.